Hello, welcome back. This is Brie with My Lavender Pages, and I have about 40 minutes before I have to go get my son from kindergarten. And since nobody's in my house and it's quiet, I thought I would film February plan with me. Um, I have all of my Tombow dual brush pens, my Tombow mono pens, I have a pencil eraser, a chapstick, and my Coffee Monsters Co. Rose Gold Ruler in my home cube pouch that I love. Um, I've kind of gone more portable lately. I have an artist box that I love that has two drawers in it and I had all my supplies in that for the longest time and I still have it sitting here on my desk. It's got my MacBook on it, but I just, I keep going. My desk is downstairs where I work in my little office, but I also go upstairs and do stuff with my family and watch shows and things like that. So I wanted more portable. Plus I've started planning a little bit on the go with all the carpool and the errands that I've been running. So I moved back into my home cube and then I have stuff in my Delphonics pouch, um, which is right over here. So anyway, that's kind of where I'm at right now. We went to Orlando from Salt Lake to enjoy our wedding anniversary, just my husband and I, for three days. And I took these things with me. I did not take this planner, but I took my notebook and my home cube and my Delphonics pouch with me and it worked out beautifully. So I'm really pleased with where I'm at in my organization container thingies. I am drinking Perk Energy today because I have a migraine and I'm hoping to not have to take medication for it but we'll we'll see it's pretty it comes and goes and it's it's pretty intense and when it comes it it blows me over but let me show you kind of I have added some new collections I have my movies to see list and I have a menu tracker and I went through my recipe books and wrote down all of my family's favorite recipes and it turns out I have more than enough to not cook the same thing twice in a month so I added kind of a tracker and it came from this list here and so I can write down or mark off when I've cooked that meal for the month so I don't do it twice and then over here I have we get cash back on our Amazon on our discover credit card that we use and we get cash back onto Amazon and that's what I use to buy all my fun things so I have a list started for my next round of credits and a vision board that I have designed but haven't printed yet um, here is the current week and this is today it is Friday the 28th and then I do have February set up just the basics these little hearts came in my February pips pip sticks per subscription blah, blah, blah. that is a tongue twister February pip sticks subscription which is right here that my sister-in-law subscribed to me for my birthday and we will be using the little hearts when we plan over here and then I have washi tape this is the current washi tape collection I'll be using for February and it came in this little box so that's where things are at I do need to put one little heart right here when we have dinner with our friends The porters. Oh my goodness! It. I. Uh, I do have a bit of jet lag from a trip, so I am pretty tired. And then you know, you add the migraine, and it just makes life fantastic. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna set it off to the side so that I can use it for reference for my plans in my bullet journal. 
And here is my bullet journal, the beast. I mean, this thing is chunky. I have two more months. I have February and March left, and then I will be moving to a new notebook. But it is a very chunky beast. So um, I didn't really change out my Believe card because it fits for January too. I have, you know, my washi cards for January in my pockets. And I am working on the front cover of my new notebook that I'll get to use in March. And let's see, here is January. This is the free printable from Sterling Ink. And then the rub on right here. I got these off of Amazon and they are linked down below. Here is January calendar. And January weather. Habit tracker. Self care. Sleep. And then we get into the daily pages. And uh, I do have some pictures in here, so you, I won't go too far in. But our bathtub clogged up. That was fun. Um, I started collecting these Harry Potter charms and a countdown for um, our Universal trip. So there was the first one. This is when we started thinking we had COVID and then it turns out we did have COVID. Well, I did. I didn't test my kids, but I definitely had COVID. And there we go. My packing list. I'm make sure that I don't. <laughs> We're getting up. Okay. And then the next few pages are my trip. So I'm going to skip that because it's got mine and my husband's faces on it. I don't mind if you see my face, but this got stuck on there. And then here is today. And then we have my to-do list. I do have a new bean card. It's the I Love Pens bean card and I want to put it in here. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But here is my ongoing to-do list. And then we get into February. So here is the February printable from Sterling Ink. And then on the back I have post-it notes that I printed on vellum for February. I have a blank page here. I don't know what I'm going to put on here yet. I haven't figured it out. There's my cousin's wedding announcement. And then um, here is the calendar, which is what we're going to do today. This will become my weather. Here is my habit tracker. Self-care. And for some reason, it's not printing the circles. So I ended up drawing those in using a stencil and my gray Tombow Fudunosuke brush pen. And, you know, if I hadn't already done this side, I would have reprinted it. But I didn't want to redo this, because this I hand trace and draw, and I did not want to redo it. So I, I get to live with it. This will be um, sleep, and then here's February 1st. So let's get going on this so that I can go pick up my man cub from school. I moved the boxes from three and four to four and three, just because I wanted to. <laughs> How's that for an explanation? Ugh. I am I'm not going to put down Miss AJ's lessons because we're trying to move her lessons to Wednesday. 
Um, I have Wednesdays off and I want to be there for her lessons. Plus on Tuesday, my husband has meetings and I work and we're hoping to kind of help Miss AJ start babysitting. So I'm going to skip putting in her lessons. I do have a chiropractic appointment, which would be great because my neck is killing me. These are so fun to get off the paper. I have a chiropractic appointment on the 4th. I need to kind of put it down a little bit because I also have a birthday, my brother's birthday. Um, and I'm just going to go right here along the top and work my way down. I don't care what color they are this time. Um, then we have a family temple day here. And my cute little nieces are babysitting my little beasties. And then we have church. And my family has the first Sunday dinner that we do. Every, the first Sunday of every month, um, my family gets together. I have three brothers. I have two that live here in the U.S. And one that lives in Australia. And that is a long story but he's very happy for which I'm grateful because he deserves all the happiness in the world. And, um, my brothers that live here in Utah, my parents also live here in Utah. We get together the first Sunday of every month and do a family dinner. And it's usually a, let me make sure I'm doing this right. Cause I've got four boxes on my other planner on the other side. Um, it usually has a theme. So last month it was hosted at my brother's house and the theme was um, pulled pork tacos. And so they made the meat and then the whole family brought the toppings, like whatever they wanted for the toppings and, and a dessert. So that's how we kind of do our um, family dinners. I'm just looking over here. Okay. Um, this month, I don't know what the theme is yet for this month because my sister-in-law hasn't texted it out. So I'll probably message her on Monday or Tuesday and just say, Hey, what's the plan? So I can get some groceries to bring up. It's also my niece's 12th birthday this week and she is a Harry Potter junkie just like me and so I picked out something special for her on our trip and I'm so excited to give it to her for her birthday and she does watch my YouTube videos so I can't tell you what it is <laughs> maybe I'll tell you what it is um let's see one two twenty skip 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 we're on to the 25th um maybe I'll tell you what it is here in the comments. No, I can't do that because I can't do that either because this will go up before, um, before Sunday dinner. And if she watches it, then I've spoiled the surprise. Dang it. I'll have to tell you about it in my next video then. What, what we got for her. I found it in Hogsmeade and I fell in love with it and I had to get it for her. Okay, besides work, and I wanted to make sure I had enough um, hearts. Besides work, that's it. Wait, I take that back. Yeah, I take that back. We have um, Valentine's Day here. And President's Day here. And on President's Day, neither of my kids have school and my husband doesn't have work because he works for the district, the school district that my kids go to. 
So put that there. All right, now I need to go through and put in little hearts for all of my work shifts. And I'm, I'm watching my time. So my little guy, he's so funny. If I'm not at the curb right there, waiting for him when he gets done, he thinks I forgot about him. Even if I'm like walking to the curb as he gets out, he gets upset because he thinks I forgot about him. <laughs> Bless him, he's such a sweetheart. He has been very, very clingy since we got back. He is a mama's boy through and through. And his grandmother said that he did fine while he was at their house. But yeah, he's been very, very, very mom, I want to be by you all the time. So like when I go take a nap, he get, comes and climbs in bed with me and he has to have a five minute snuggle in the morning. He's six and I just, I'm eating it up because I know in a couple of years it will be, ew, mom, go away, kind of a situation. So I'm trying to enjoy it for as long as I can <laughs> until he doesn't do it anymore. Ugh. I do work on President's Day. And I don't mind because I don't start until four o'clock. I work um, from four to ten, four days a week. And we can usually go play and do whatever we want in the morning or we go play on Saturday. And then when I have to work, I just, I just have to work it. That's kind of how it goes. And I don't, I don't mind. Um, the only times I have a really hard time working when my family is n off is during the 4th of July. And then our Utah has Founders Day on the 24th of July. And I really struggle working those days because the fireworks are very distracting in my neighborhood. Okay, so that looks very festive. Super, super festive. Okay, let me get my, it's over here. So this is my Twisby Eco. It is the first Twisby I ever bought. It's in the mint green. I don't think they sell this color anymore. It was a limited, um, but it, this is a mint green. It's in a medium nib. And my, this Twisby, this Twisby Iris is a fine nib. So when I want bold, hello, this is what's going on, uh, stuff. <laughs> I lost the word. I use this. It's inked up with Diamine Solstice and it is a black ink with green shimmer. And I love it. Green is my favorite color. I love this ink. And I am planning on getting like two more bottles of it. And the bottles aren't small. They're like this big, you know, the bottles are not small. So I want to get like two more bottles of it just to have in case they stop selling it because I love it so much. Um, I don't know what color of ink I want to use for February. I haven't decided yet. I don't have a red. I don't have a pink. I do have purple, but most of my washi tape, like it was too late to jump on the sterling ink thing. By the time I got home from my vacation and was able to order it, it wouldn't have been here in time. Um, I did get a notification today that my March subscription kit has just shipped. So I'm super excited because I will have that for March and I think I'm thinking I'm just going to keep the subscription because I adore her work so much. But it, this is the washi tape I'm using and I don't really have purple. 
and I don't want to use green because I want to use green for March for St. Patrick's Day. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll figure it out at some point. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> okay. So my work schedule, we use military time. So work is 16 to 22. And I'm going to have to abbreviate it. And then Thursday, 16 to 22. I can just, I know what I'm going to use. And then on Friday the 4th, we have a birthday. Happy birthday, twin. If he ends up watching this. And then at 1030... I have a chiropractor. Appointment. And then at three, we have a family temple. Day. And then on the sixth, at 11.30, shoot, right here, 11.30, we have church, and then family dinner, and then this is supposed to be 9 o'clock. Okay, then we have work and I need to put my pencil board over here because the page is sinking in um, Wednesday the 9th at 11 um, man cub has a haircut and the his last haircut was in November um, I always get my hair done just before my birthday in November and he cut like within two days he cut a one inch chunk off the front of his hair and it looked so funny. And so I didn't want to do anything with it. I just wanted to let it grow. But my husband was like, he looks redonkulous. You need to fix it. So I fixed it. Mm -hmm. And he looked like Lloyd from Dumb and Dumber. And it's finally grown out and so I cut his hair and he doesn't hold still for me when I cut his hair um, so it's really hard and sometimes he the way I cut his hair sometimes it has like lines on it it turned out okay but by the time, and it, it's pretty short right now. So by the time I take him on the 9th to go get his hair cut, it will be long enough for my stylist to fix it. <laughs> so that he looks like himself again. And we're just going to let it go. And then he'll get it cut again in March when I go to get mine done for summer. Okay, on the 19th. At 10 in the morning, our church does a special broadcast for kids. We call it the Friend to Friend. And then that same day at 2, I have a baby shower. My friend is having twins. 
and I want to go to that. And then at 11.30, we have church. And then from 4 to 10, work. Okay, so on the 21st, it is Prez Day. And there is no school. scoot this up a little bit because I have a feeling you can see my freshly washed hair. Okay, and then the 22nd, oh, that's angled up. That's obnoxious. There. Okay, on the 22nd from this is what happens when your bullet journal gets huge. Um, from four to ten. I work. Four to ten. I work. And I'm thinking this is a no school day. That's why there's two parts. Yep. And then no school. So we have, um, when I get my vision board printed, you'll see it on my vision board, but we drive a truck. I drive a truck, a Nissan Frontier truck, and we love to go camping. And we inherited, whoops, we inherited a camper trailer from our neighbors who were moving across the country and they couldn't take it with them and it was built in 1970, so it's older than me. And it it's fine to sleep in, but the refrigerator doesn't work, the heater doesn't work, the water, the whole water system needs to be replaced, the toilet doesn't work. So we just have it sitting in our driveway, taking up space, and we're really not thrilled with it. We could put some money into it and get it up and going. Oh, I need to look at this really quick. We could put some money into it and get it going. Yep, I'm not going to make it to that wedding reception. Um, but we'd rather take that money and invest in something different. So we are saving up to purchase a tent that goes on top of our truck and it folds up into itself kind of like sorry I did not mean to hit that folds up into itself like one of those hard tote thingies that go that you can put your travel luggage in I'm gonna unplug this so give me just a second here there we go that you put like all your luggage in when you're on a road trip it folds up into something like that and then you open it up and pull it out and you have this whole five man five to six man tent that is completely insulated. It's got a padded bottom and you use this ladder and you climb up into your tent. And then we want to get an awning that goes off to the side and then off the end to put all of our um, cooking gear. And then um, we can get an accessory to go off the side of the awning for a shower. And I'm one of those people that has to camp with a camping shower because I'm weird like that. So we want to save up and get that and there's my alarm to go get my son. So I've put that on the vision board to remind me that that's what I want to do. And um, I'm really excited about it. We really want to do a lot of camping this summer. And my husband, he doesn't like the cold, but he does enjoy winter camping, which makes me giggle because he doesn't like to be cold. So if we get this, it is rated to um, work in cold weather, which will be great. And 
Yeah, then we won't be pulling this. It's this, our trailer is a single axle. And so up in our mountains, when the roads are just graded, not paved or have gravel, when they're just graded, man, it is an adventure to try and get to the camping spots with that trailer. It is not fun. So we wanted something that would go on top of our car and be easier to get in and out of places. And then we can just park, level out our truck and camp. So that's one of our goals for 2022 is to save up and get that. And then all we got to do is just hook it up to our truck and take off for the weekend. And my schedule changes in March to where I will have Saturdays and Sundays off. So if we wanted to take off and do like an extended trip, I could take Friday or Monday off and we would have a three day weekend. So we're really looking at that. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this guys before I have to go get my son. So I am using the rub on um, May claws. I don't know how to say, say it because they got a little flower and I don't know if the flower is an A or an O. See, is that an A or an O? Yep. But I have these linked down below. I got them off of Amazon. They smell like PVC when you open them and use them, but I don't mind. Oh, baby. Ugh. See, when your bullet journal gets so big that it bends, it's hard to write on and it's hard to get these things on. There we go. And I love these because they're so thin, you can barely tell that they're not part of the printing. And they don't really add much bulk. I have two more sets of these saved on my Amazon wish list to get, and then I'll have a whole collection to enjoy. Getting there. Getting there. Come on. I always worry about the stems and the little leaves when I do these. Okay, there's two. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to put these off to the side and I'm going to write February and then I will finish this on my own later. Um, let's see, in January I think I did blue. So just because I want, rah, 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 I want to use purple, I'm going to use purple. And I want to make sure I spell it right. When I was in sixth grade, February was one of our words and I got it wrong in front of the whole class. And ever since then, it is my fear that I will spell it wrong in front of the whole world. And I guess you guys are my whole world right now. And there you have it. So here is February. I'll finish this out in my own time. Um, and I will be adding to it depending on when we switch guitar lessons. If we keep them on Tuesdays or move them to Wednesdays, I'll be adding that here. And then since I have plenty of dots, little heart dots, I will probably go back in to this calendar and put dots on the blue for my working shift. So I have plenty. So thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notifications. I have both this video and next week's plan with me video to load up. So you might get a double dose this week. Hope everybody is well, healthy, and safe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!